So today guys, I bring you the updated level 53 version of my Winter Soldier build. And it comes with a few changes which make it even more powerful, as well as obviously the added extra 3 points from the additional levels that came with the latest patch. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and today I bring another BR3 video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like it really helps me out and subscribe if you want to see more. On screen now you can see my weekly giveaway along with last week's winner. To be in with a chance of winning this yourself, follow the instructions on screen now and good luck. So the complete build I will run through today, adding specific things you should be on the lookout for, which will only make this even more powerful. Such things we will come to though, as they are amongst some of the various items in the game. So firstly, let's talk weapons. Now to me weapons and what's selected all depends on the user. I mean having a redistributor in your build for sure makes things much easier as it's one of the best weapons in this game. I'm also loving the wedding invitation at the moment too. This great great sniper took me by surprise and to be honest guys I do think a nerf will hit this thing. But until then it's staying put. My Maggie doesn't ever leave my inventory. I personally think this is one of the best pistols in this game. And lastly, I have my Q system, one of the most powerful weapons in the game bar none. A weapon truly overlooked in my opinion. Now I do sometimes mix my weapons up, adding a cutsman here and there, maybe a stagecoach or protuberance also. But every weapon I do use with this build must have that anointment on it of. While Sentinel is active, gain 100% of damage as bonus cryo damage. This truly works amazingly and within places where enemies are not immune to cryo, that in itself though is a rare instance, this can make some of the worst weapons in the game perform quite well. So yeah guys, weapons can vary. Just make sure you have the right anointment on them. Sentinel within this build will almost always be active so you'll have that extra cryo damage more or less 90 to 100% of the time. And this anointment makes for better DPS over the 6 to 7 to barrier anointment in 9 out of 10 scenarios in my opinion. Okay, so shield. And well, because we are spending most of our time inside that barrier, our shield, although is important, is an item within this build in which you can still experiment with. I personally, over the previous versions of this build, have always gone with a legendary like the Transformer with that Sentinel Movement Speed Anointment. But in actual fact, guys, there are miles better shields out there which fit this build much, much better and will help you out in terms of damage output far greater than probably 80% of other shields in the game. So shields which you should be looking out for are a 3 times Vagabond variant with that Sentinel Movement Speed Anointment. Even guys, a rare variant of the shield which offers 2 times that Vagabond prefix with that Sentinel Anointment would be amazing. Because what a Vagabond shield does is, while well, each prefix of Vagabond gives you an additional 10% movement speed while shields are full. So that's 10% for each prefix. Having this three times, which I won't lie to you, I haven't seen myself yet, has to be close to that 30% movement speed mark. I say this because the percentage sometimes drops the more we see the same prefix on the same shield. But then add the Sentinel movement speed anointment, which gives you an extra 15% movement speed while Sentinel is active. And we are looking at an additional 40% movement speed on this build. And when you add that percentage to Violent Momentum, which is an active perk on this build, while well, that damage output alone from just this would be off the charts. Another shield which, like the Vagabond, which is super rare, is the Kill Switch shield, like the one you can see on screen now. Obviously, you're looking for a level 53 version though. This shield alone, you can stack damage up to a possible 360%, I believe. And that's with this shield alone. Add that Sentinel Anointment, pair that speed with the skill tree speed from the additional perks we will be using, and your damage output will be beyond anything we have seen on Zane before. Now these shields, much like the one I am currently using, the one shutter, are all world drops. But your best bet in finding one are the vending machines. But I'm not going to lie, I farm for days and I just cannot find them people. They are that rare, it's absolutely crazy. So yes, if you come across them and you do play on Xbox, please hit me up via my Discord, links within the video description, or send me a message on Xbox, my gamertag is imdpj. Current shield I'm using though is the one shutter like I just said. And it's by far the best shield I have at the moment in terms of farming bosses, as its benefits are absolutely crazy, while shields are full drain 20% or 100% weapon damage. But like I said, depending on the activity I'm doing, I do mix this up. The one shot at is amazing for farming bosses like Graveward. 
but in reality, let's say we're running the Maliwan Raid or the Slaughter Shaft, most of the time you will get damaged, so the perk of this one shot becomes less prominent due to you mainly rolling with an SMG, and because the 100% additional damage is for that one shot only, that first shot, it won't be as useful when going off against mobs. Not like if we say we're farming bosses and we're using a wedding invitation against Grave Ward, it comes in way more handy then. But using it against mobs of enemies while you're using an SMG, it works quite often, but you won't notice it that much. And it's in activities like the Maliwan Raid and the Slot Shaft, where shields like the Kill Switch and the Vega Bond will be much better. But like I said, I'm yet to get those. But yeah, switching up activities sees me switching my shield also, and it's mainly to one of my low budget Vega Bond shields, offering only that one Vega Bond prefix, but also having that Sentinel anointment, meaning I'm 25% movement speed up from base movement speed alone from the shield which is pretty good. So until those specific shields are found people, these do just fine, as you will be spending most of your time behind that barrier anyway. So in terms of defense, you ain't got to worry about that so you can experiment with shields. So the class mod for this build is the scene dead obviously. This class mod as you know can come offering multiple benefits, but the one you want to look out for is 5 points into Donny Brook. Although this is super rare also, it's out there as I had a level 50 version. But until I find that, this is the best scene dead all round that I have. And it works pretty amazing with my build and my choice of weapons, offering 33% assault rifle, SMG and sniper damage. So that's great. Artifact here, again in reality, there are many that will work great with this build. I mean, through the various versions of this build I have gone through, the latest version I used was the electric banjo, which was amazing, which I mean is still a great artifact you can still use with this build. But I've just gone for an artifact which adds more benefits to this build over just chaining electric to enemies. So what artifacts do you want and what perks should you be looking at for? Well you in my opinion either want a snowdrift, icebreaker or a flesh martyr. Me personally because I love my corrosive redistributor, I'm really digging this flesh martyr. This one you can see offers SMG damage and cryo damage, that cryo damage being activated via my sentinel anointments and all my weapons too, and also the SMG damage pairs with my redistributor perfectly. And as it's the main weapon I use in places such as the slaughter shaft and the Maliwan raid, places I play more often than not, it makes sense to stack SMG damage as it's the main weapon I use, and as we know we get additional SMG damage from the class mod I'm using here also, so that's a benefit. But the Icebreaker Artifact with beneficial perks will definitely help and if you correspond the perks on it with your weapon loadout, you will be good to go. As we know the Icebreaker deals extra damage against frozen targets and with this build many targets get frozen. Perks on said artifacts to look out for though are obviously weapon damage, movement speed is great also, magazine size is helpful and actually skill cooldown shouldn't be ignored either. So the artifacts you look out for and the perks on said artifacts you now know. Now the grenade which does come into effect with this build, I am using the Merv Cluster F Exploder. This grenade alone with each instance drops around 25 grenades, which is just utterly crazy. Now this can be a little dangerous as you do sometimes damage yourself, more often than not. So you can go with something else if you prefer, but it's the anointment on this grenade which assists this build. On grenade thrown, weapon grenade and action skill damage are increased by 25% for 6 seconds. Now although this build we won't be throwing grenades ourselves, our sentinel will be and us using that duct tape mod will be shooting them sometimes too. Now I was told the duct tape mod doesn't apply the anointed effects of grenades, but it does as I tested it and you can see that on screen now. So that's the grenade, now let's get into the build itself. Starting with Sentinel, 5 points into violent speed and 5 points into violent momentum. Remember speed is damage so keep moving to be more efficient with that damage output. Drawn delivery selected, this activates that grenade anointment also. 3 points into salvation, for those times of need if you get into them. Death follows close obviously. 5 points into violent violence maximizing DPS with that fire rate and 3 points into good misfortune. Sentinel is our first action skill selected with the augments of Bad Dose and Static Field. So onto the Digiclone, we are putting 5 points into Synchronicity and 5 points into Donny Brook. These offer amazing damage people without the use of that Digiclone either, so you don't have to worry about that. And then we put 3 points into Duct Tape Mud, which in my opinion is more than enough as we do see those grenades quite often on just 3 points here people. So there's no point in my opinion wasting any more. Okay so onto Barrier. 5 points into Adrenaline, 5 points into Brain Freeze. 
This obviously allowing that iceberg artifact to work way more often, if you use that that is. 4 points into rise to the occasion, again for those times in need if you do get into them, with confident competence selected. Barrier is the second action skill we use with retaliation and all rounder as the augments used here people. And guys, that is this build, the final level 53 winter soldier build, a build for Zane which in my opinion is one of the best out there. And it will see you through all the challenges this game offers, and I can't tell you how many times I've soloed the Maliwan raid with this build, in fact a weaker lesser version of this build. Now I might just do a live video of me demonstrating how easy it is to solo people, so stay tuned for that. But yes, the winter soldier level 53 build, the finale winter soldier build, is here. I hope this helps my Zane mains out, I really do. Now before we go, just a reminder, if you have any of the shields I mentioned earlier today, one with a 3 times Vagabond prefix or a 3 times Power Charge prefix and that shield should be called the Kill Switch, please hit me up on my Discord if you do play on Xbox. They have to be a level 53 also, or if you want to hit me up on Xbox, my gamer tag is IamDPJ. But on that note, we have come to the end of the video people, if you do enjoy it, leaving a like it really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands, be sure to subscribe and if you never want to miss a video or upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by, hopefully you enjoyed the video, hopefully you enjoyed the build, and hopefully I will see you on that next one. Monkey gets!